If I was a bear, I bet you hold me. Press your lips against me. Today's best country, 93.1 WDHR. Five o'clock rush hour is underway, and it's Friday, so the weekend is officially underway. Kim DeVosh with If I Was a Beer. And guys, we got a treat for you. Everybody in the studio here with me today is the man himself. How's it going, Ken? Fantastic. Oh, I'm, I feel like I'm on top of the mountain. Well, technically you are. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, man, before we get started, uh, I was talking to you a little earlier. I want the audience to know, too, in case he's out there listening. One of our former DJs, uh, he just went back to school, just mm -hmm. left. Uh, he says he's going to go be a lawyer, so that's good to know. Wow. <laughs> But um, he loves your song, and he nice. sang it around here constantly. So we hear you doing it, but we hear him doing it all the time, too. Awesome. That is awesome. Does he ever get back to the station? Uh, well, he hasn't yet. He literally just, like, left, like, last week. In town? Yeah. Still in town, though? Nope, nope. He moved <clears> in, so he's about maybe I two could, hours I'd be leaving if I was a beer hat here. Yeah, well, I, know? I can. There you go. I'll get that to him. So if you don't care, say hi to O'Conley. O'Conley? Yeah. O'Conley, how you doing? <laughs> it's Ken Dimash. All right. Thanks for singing the song. <laughs> like I said, and I, and I told you too, I told him, guess who's coming? He's That's like, are you serious? I, I, I could have waited one more week. One more week? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the whole legal thing's got to take a minute. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, especially. Would have played uh, it. <laughs> so uh, you got an interesting story to me, man. Uh, you didn't really start out thinking you'd end up in the music business, did you? Not at all. So it like, never a thing. To tell people kind of I, what you were doing. I grew up, well, as a kid, I did not grow up with music in the house. I, I always watched some of these awesome artists, and I picture their life growing up, and you hear them talking about hearing, you know, Conway Twitty in the yeah. background, and you could picture them with that that uh, that perfect uh, picture of a country life. Yeah, the you know, or They're in the garage working on the truck and yeah, stuff. And yeah, yeah. Not at all. Not at all. I grew up with my sister trying to learn uh, classical piano, so music was like this horrible repeat of Mozart, and there was never music on in the house. Yeah. We had two records in the house, an Elvis record and a Foghat record. Nice. And uh, so that the music lane was taken, so I drew. I would just like draw, and then I got interested, you know, the, the cousins and uh, aunts and uncles would come over, and I would do magic tricks. Yeah. Can't make that up. <laughs> and, you know, people were like, oh, Kenny's doing a magic trick. Suddenly it really turned into Kenny going to big, like, they had, like, big world oh, competitions. Yeah. yeah. And I was I was lucky enough to be winning these things. So here I am going, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live in Vegas. You yeah. Know? I'm going to stay in Vegas. I'm going to be a professional magician, you know, because <laughs> that always impresses everybody. Yeah, I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> and the thing you don't realize is it's entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's a fast life. And I could, I had a vivid picture in my mind being on the Vegas Strip, yeah, in the corner, like in a fetal position next to her sewer drain, just kind of shaking, going, it was too fast, too wild, too yeah. crazy. So I, I just kind of hit the blinker. I went to school. I ended up becoming an architect, you know. So I'm like drawing. I, man, I you're really, a Renaissance man. <laughs> well, I, I, I hear that a lot. I think I'm more. Uh, Confused. <laughs> I think I think I have like severe uh, ADHD or something. Never diagnosed yeah. it. It's like it turns out to almost be like a superpower. I have a lot of energy. Uh, I like everything that's art related. Yeah, you know. And uh, music happened much much later. Uh, I had a, a baby girl, and uh, you know I started taking her piano lessons, and then I took guitar lessons. And, yeah. It, it snowballed along where, you know, practicing at home drove my wife crazy. Of course. <laughs> so she one night just said, hey, could you go somewhere else? Yeah. You know, yeah. instead of me kind of, oh, funny story. Uh, I bought a guitar when, when I finally was like, I was going to learn. I bought a guitar. The next week, we're on our family vacation at a little place in Florida. I go to the, to the pool, right? Yeah. And I take my guitar. And I'm like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like one, and, but when I walked up, people were like, "Oh man, this guy must be good. He's bringing a guitar, yeah, to a crowded pool." Yeah, and I sat down. You know, it's usually hard to get a spot. I oh, yeah. cle I cleared out the place because <laughs> I couldn't even play chords. I'm like, I'm going to use my vacation to learn how to play guitar. Yeah. Anywho, I, I did that, uh, and I started. I, I really just love it. It's uh, if I don't play a guitar or sit at a piano or draw something every day, I'm just not. A happy person. Yeah. Like, legit. Yeah. It just puts me in a really good place, and everybody needs to find their their place, you know. And uh, Well, uh, you know, the drawing and everything, it, you need to 
use the magician stuff in your stage show. That, there you go. I can't tell you. Uh, I saw. <laughs> I don't know how much time you have. You know, <laughs> yeah. You've got to get home. The day's over. Um, if uh, I saw a show from Danessi, have you uh-huh. ever heard of him? He's a, no. like a classical guitarist. I think out of California. Mm-hmm. He had this stage show that was unbelievable. But when you start to see, see stage shows, like in St. Louis, it's the Fox Theater. Mm-hmm. Even Broadway type shows, they yeah. incorporate elements of illusions in their shows sometimes. Like there'll be a bed, and the bed's like moving around the yeah. stage, yeah. and uh, somebody might float up into the air as part of a way of communicating a feeling or something. And mm-hmm. Vanessa's act at one point, uh, the lady had like this long draping, and she's up in the air, and it's almost like acrobatics and all that. Yeah. And I saw that, I thought that was the coolest thing. And concerts are cool, but I, in my head, I'm always trying to picture how can you make a concert like yeah feel like that it's, visual it's this visual wild circus going on yeah. on stage and yet you're crushing it with the music and I also just love when people do you know straight on acoustic even though they have the whole band behind them, the band just right. like takes a minute I love that part I don't know what everybody else thinks but I just think it's like you really connect and I also just like the uh, the visual aspects of it. Oh yeah, I understand totally. So I can't wait. That would be that would be the coolest thing. I'm going to have to check that if out. I can figure out a a non horrible way to do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, and again, again, why is there a rabbit <laughs> coming out of the drum set? I do not get it. We're we're hit, we're starting to veer off course here because I was going to go too with like, well, what about the Bruce Lee stuff? <laughs> what about uh, Bruce Lee? So, I was a little kid. I was really little. I was, I had, you know, now everybody knows their allergies. We didn't know. I, I was allergic to, I think, vitamin C. Oh, wow. So I would get these horrible hives. Mm-hmm. And so I hardly could eat. I couldn't eat oranges. They were just, they didn't know what to feed me. So I was really little. Yeah. And my dad's like, uh, he, he's going to get just beat up. Yeah. But so go ahead every, to teach. <laughs> so <laughs> instead of anybody beating me up, I went to go get beat up every <laughs> night. <laughs> By this 12-year-old girl with the sharpest elbows, she would beat the heck out of me <laughs> as I'm trying to learn, you know, Shudokan karate. Yeah. And Bruce Lee was like, you know, everybody wanted to be yeah. Bruce Lee. So I was this little guy going to karate every night. Yeah. And uh, and, then, and I actually ended up using that. Um, well, I mean, Bruce was a little guy. You know, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Big, big, yeah. bigger than life guy. Yeah. But yeah. And so that was like inspirational for yeah. everybody. And uh, so I, I, my dad would take me to karate every night, and I ended up using the karate with my magic. Yeah. I could even share something else, but it might be too embarrassing. See, you've got uh, potentially the greatest stage show that we've ever seen right there. If you well, when well, I did the together. stage show, it was wild. I, I actually was using, um, you know, this is a country audience, so I, I'm probably going to be judged right out of the door. <laughs> So I did break dancing in my magic shop no, in no. Vegas. I was break dancing, yeah, and then it turned into this pseudo uh, martial arts show where I had like nunchucks yeah. appearing and flames shooting. I mean, it was just like I, I was just that. doing crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff. And the most embarrassing part of all of it, which I probably, I probably shouldn't say it, but I'll say it. I'll do it. Nobody's yeah. listening. Um, <laughs> I took I took ballet for a second. Hey, and after I did that. It was and it was really funny because I remember I was taking it and some guys were giving me trouble. The other guys like, yeah. dude, he's he don't get in trouble about it. You know, it's like he's like a ninja. It's like yeah. don't. You know, yeah, so it's yeah, like, you luckily, might wanna. But it was I was always okay at doing karate. Once I took a tiny bit of ballet, you could jump and spin oh, in yeah. the air, and all of a sudden you look. So when I did my show in Vegas, it was so funny. I was rehearsing, and these master like six, uh, you know, a really high end black belts yeah, were yeah. like. Hey, would you like to come tonight and teach our dojo? I'm going, what? back up the bus. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I am not nearly as good as this looks. This is like me doing ballet. I am not, yeah. you know, I am not as bad to the bone as this looks. But it was really, so there you go. I can't erase what I just did right there. So there you are. There, there you go. All right. Hey, thanks. Man, Tommy Lee took ballet. And, did he really? Uh, yeah. And to me, I mean, who's cooler than Tommy Lee? No, yeah. that's all. Well, that, you just made it okay. Thank there, you there for you fixing go. that. Exactly. All right, Ken. Uh, I, you got uh, the album uh, "Country Fied" country fied up mm-hmm. on your website. I've been checking that out. Uh, ding, dang, darn it! That's an awesome song too. Uh, how did you bring the album together? So uh, the new album, ironically, uh, we just dropped a song on just, just streaming. That's radio, right. and I didn't realize that I wrote that song ten years ago. Oh wow! It feels it feels like I wrote it yesterday. The time is just. I mean, everybody going through this whole COVID thing the last mm-hmm. three years is just gone. Right. You know. Time goes by so quickly. 
Yeah, uh, it all just went. Together. Yeah, but I, 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 uh, I don't really have a, 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 a method of writing. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have. A, I'm gonna write a song every day. Right. And I joined the Nashville Songwriters Association. I've gone through, you know, a lot of critiques with other songwriters. Yeah. But it's helpful. It's also. For me, it's like, all right, that was a really hard uh, side road that I went down. I'd rather just do whatever comes out. Yeah. And then just do it. Just do it like you own it, and it's all good. Exactly. You know, there are some, I guess, correct rules, but they kind of don't apply. Yeah. So You got to um, be you. Right. I, I mean, mean, and that's that really is the hard thing. You got to take everybody's uh, input. You got to yeah. think about it. You got to try and learn from it, not assume that you're right. Right. You know, so some of these songs, um, you know, if I was a beer, I have no idea where that came from. Yeah. I mean, I just, I can go into depth about it. Picture, you know, just sitting there at the bar looking at my beer and peeling yeah. the label. Uh, when, I, when I met my wife, you well, know. I mean, the lyrics just tell you the story. Well, you know? Yeah, but it's, it's like, it's like, where does it come from? I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's, it's uh, uh, some of the songs are much more serious the the new album is called welcome to my rodeo yeah that's that you've released that one track right uh well i haven't released one well it's rodeo. on your website it is yeah. i did that as a little bit of a preview i really like it yeah. you know and uh <laughs> and i don't know that it's really you know there's some songs that really work really well in in country music radio yeah you know they kind of just fit yeah. within your within your other songs mm -hmm. and it's not like what is that about yes uh that song it's is in the really, wheelhouse yeah, that song is really intended to be like, you know, in my dream, you know, if I had a really big concert, wouldn't that be yeah. the coolest thing? It would just come in like crazy, like that Vanessa stage show. Yeah. yeah. And it has horses in the beginning. It's got this heavy, you know, and it's got this huge bass, and then it just kind of builds yeah. and just... And, but you get this picture, it's like, all right, we are, Hold getting, on. we are getting ready to have a party. Welcome to my rodeo. The guitarist is... You know, light and fire to the guitar in the yeah. middle stage. There's a limo pulling on stage right now with somebody else playing bass. I could just picture this crazy yeah. time. Now, how I deliver that on the show, I guess I just messed that up. But <laughs> I, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. if you could just, and that song just came out of me kind of going, man, that'd be so cool to do. Hopefully someday, yes. Yeah, but that song, um, like I said, might not be something that is like, hey, let's try to have this play all across the country. It might yeah. be one of those just, Here's part of the album, and people can love it, or you know, it's just kind of is quiet. But, right. Yeah. That's well, a, is that what we're going to give people a little taste of today? Oh, I was or, gonna, or, but I or, will. It's well, up no, to that, you. That's up to you. Yeah, you had me we, wondering about. We, we were talking about that yeah. one. Now they can go on your website. They can kind of hear now. that. That's true. That's true. So, but the thing is, disappointing is it's not on any of the streaming platforms. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those. There it is. You know, that's just at the website. Uh -huh. um, and the weird thing about albums now, when I did the Country Bite album, mm -hmm. we just put the whole thing out there. Right. You know, like, there it is. Yeah. Let's, we're going to uh, ask everybody to play this song. Yeah. Now it's like you put it out there. Yep. Oh, all right. Done. Yeah. You know, so That's, right now we have like different, um, I don't know what you we could call them, campaigns or different stories mm -hmm. for each song. Yeah. You know, so we, we came out with I Was a Beer and we did the whole music video. Great video. So, thank you. Yeah. I, I, uh, <laughs> I had so much fun doing that, and uh, my wife was just unbelievably awesome for being a part of it. Yeah. And she's in the next two. We just came back from Nashville okay, cool. last weekend recording. You know, the next songs will be uh, Drink About That. Uh -huh. So we kind of got a theme going here. A little bit. You know, ding, yeah. dang, darn it. You hey, know, you're, you're from St. Louis. I mean, yeah, it's like, I'm gonna, I want to make it sound like, you know, the very first song we did was Saddle Up, which is at a bar. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of <laughs> keeping in keeping with a good theme. And then in the summer next year, we have a song that's called Imagining, which I. Really, it, it, I love the the feel of it. It's a fun, like right now, a summer song. I yeah. think if I was a beer, is a, and it's funny too. Some music feels like summer. Some music kind of got the winter vibe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of pick and choose. Um, the song we just dropped, uh, "Life's Happening Now," it's available on streaming, and it's just so different than if I was a beer. Yeah, you know, if I was a beer is. We're not taking life serious. Right. We're just having fun. We're, We're just having fun. We're having a good time. Yeah. And and the only the only only serious nature of it is just basically being who you need to be to be who you need to be. You know, in my world, when yeah. I met my wife, the funniest thing I was thinking on drive in. By the way, this this whole the scenic of everything here is amazing. Well, thank you. This is fantastic. <laughs> you guys, you guys got something here. Bottle it up. Uh, again, again, it's always at a bar. My yeah, bad. My that's bad. But um, you know what? I met her. It was so funny. You speak my language. Yeah. When I, when I, I call her, 
first time we're talking, and she's like, you know, she has these kind of objections of stuff she's heard about me, and I'm just kind of going, this is real easy. <laughs> Who do I need to be? Yeah. You know, and that's yep. <laughs> not that I'm... We don't you know, have to make this complicated. I'm, right. This is real <laughs> easy, you know? It's, <laughs> you know, if I, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, if I was a beer, I bet I wouldn't have to try this hard, you know? Right. And, and boom. Boom. You know, like, that'd be a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, again... You're going to throw something at people that they haven't heard yet. So, what are we going to hear today? You want to do that right now? Let's do it right now. So, this song is called Drink About That. Okay. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> we have a theme. We have a theme. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and do it. You can judge it, all right? All right. Boss is being such a jerk. He's riding in about my works as if I don't stop coming in late. Gonna have to cut my pain. Making such a fuss about me and taking my job serious. So, do you see yourself in a year? Call her telephone, you know, there. Gonna have to drink a pound of Tell them that. Have a chat with my friends. Jim, be the captain. Well, if you know I'm not, I still can jam. Until my children's gone by. Have to drink a pound We have it recorded. You already have it. Okay. Oh, the whole album's fully recorded. Okay. And good. like I said, the weird part, I want to give it to Welcome to Our Rodeo is the title track. Welcome right? to My Rodeo is the title track. The uh, That song, Drink About That. We just finished filming. Okay, uh, cool. The video was so fun. Yeah. Again, love my wife. Thank you, yeah. sweetheart, for doing the video because she's <laughs> like very resistant to do these videos. It's like, how do I do a video? Yeah. Talking about a gal. Uh -huh. You know, that when it makes the sweetest sounds, who am I going to film that with? Yeah. And then the video is so fun, not to jump off on a tangent, but the cool part about the about, about doing a video, because there's, so, you know, I don't know that people see very many videos anymore. Yeah. But, uh, like, with If I Was a Beer, there's a there's a hook at the end. Yeah. There's a reason to watch the whole thing. Right. Um, with this one, it's fun. And I've got, We're not going to spoil it. They look at my arm, man. Look at the, uh, but on yeah. this uh, drink about that, <laughs> You know, you hear, you know, my boss. Being yeah, he's got jerk. goosebumps. Yeah, I do, you man. I mean, it. <laughs> it feels good about, you know, you, you picture your boss is on you. And yeah. Your job's not going great. And mm -hmm. your girl is like, hey, is this real? What's going on? Yeah. And it's like, all right, I'm going to drink about it. And hey, everybody's video, had that moment. And my wife in the video is so funny. So we have my Jeep. I take the doors off, you know, we're in this gravel parking lot. And they're like, okay, you need to act like you're mad at him. It didn't take a whole lot yeah. of acting lessons. <laughs> it felt like every bad, yeah. bad argument. She just was like looking at me like, and she's like, I'm out of here. 
I'm like going, is she serious? Like, what's going on? Yeah. And she <laughs> peels out in the car, and they're filming all this. I'm standing in a dust, you know, gravel dust cloud of smoke. And I'm like, is she serious in that? And they, yeah. it's all on film. And then the video, the fun part about it is, you know, the way that song's going, you, the visual aspect of it is I'm at the bar, and my boss walks in, and it's like, oh, snap. My yep. boss is at the bar, right. and then he just looks at me like, dude, who cares? Let's have a drink. Yeah. And then I'm there, and my, you know, my the girl in the image shows yep. up at the bar, and I'm like, oh, snap, she's mad. You know, we've been texting each other. Yeah. And she's like, whatever, let's just party. And it's like, so it turns into the video, the video of it. I haven't seen it myself, but yeah. the intent is that it just, it's a feel-good video. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, your job's hard, relationships are hard. So what? But you know what? Let's just drink about it. Let's yeah. Just, you know what? Let's just have fun. And, awesome. Uh, so, you know, can't have, wait to see it. Have a beer, have a shot, and yeah. uh, and you know what? We'll get serious with some songs later. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. Well, Ken, I know I don't have a lot of time with you today, so uh, tell everybody where they can find you on, on online, social media, all that, man. Yeah, thank you. If you if you go to the website, that's the, the easiest first stop to, to get off is Ken Dimash. It's D O M A S H. Looks like do the mash. Yeah, there you Ken go. KenDimash.com. <laughs> it has, you know, if you want to go to Twitter, if you want to go to uh, uh, Facebook, I think those are both uh, Ken Dimash. Well, let's see. Facebook is Ken Dimash Music. Okay. And um, I think Twitter is Ken underscore Dimash. Right. I'm trying to remember all Twi these now. Twitter's so complicated. Yeah, yeah. Instagram so, is Ken Dimash yeah. Music. Okay. And then okay. Uh, Facebook is, uh, I just said Ken uh, Dimash Music. And then yeah. there's, uh, let's see, TikTok. TikTok. Just easy. It's Ken Dimash. And uh, you can go to any of the streaming. It's on all streaming. We just dropped uh, a new one. And the, the idea of the album is... If you go to the streaming and you're listening to that, we're just going to drop a song almost every month. Yeah. And it's like, here's the album. You get used to one at a time. Yeah. Boom. Uh, but all that's it. You know, and oh, YouTube. Yeah. You know, I like to Definitely. put a lot of this. I'll be putting some of these interviews out there. We have a lot of fun content because I think um, we just put a song from that Country Fight album that mm -hmm. I found. I didn't know I had. They had some interns at the studio filming the whole, one of the whole sets. And just like a radio session like this, yeah. people don't know what's up. It was so cool to see it that I'm like, all right, I'm going to post that. Yeah. So the YouTube has a lot of fun stuff. So anyway, thank you. Awesome. For cool. having me here on top of the mountain. No problem, man. You're going to have to come back and see us again, too. I would love to if you could have me. Well, definitely. I'll we bring definitely will. Here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that off the air. All right. <laughs> all right, we'll get back to the music here. Ken Dimash, thank you so much, man. All right, we'll get back to it. It's today's best country, 93.1. The weekend is here. So if I was here, so we're not now. I bet you'd pull your heart. All right.